Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Um, so this video is going to be the 2023 journaling recap tag. Um, I mean it's technically the end of the year journaling tag. Um, but I kind of wanted to switch it a little bit and... I just tried and keep it simple with five um, prompts. So yeah, um, just to give you guys a little update of how my whole 2023 journaling has gone. And yeah, but first, <laughs> I'm sorry that the fire alarm is beeping. I don't know, it's crazy. Um, it has new batteries and they've come to check it twice and it will stop beeping for a day and then it starts beeping again. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. I guess I need a total new one. I don't know, but hopefully I'll get that fixed soon. And also, I wanted to apologize um, for not filming like, I know I said that every Wednesday I was going to be posting flip-throughs and, you know, me and my plants and I can never <laughs> um, complete it. Like, I can never, how do I say it? I don't know, I, I keep failing, you guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's, t the end of 2023 was really, really rough. <laughs> Um, so many things happened during December and in part of November. I don't even remember what the times were, but yeah, so many stuff happened. Like I was super excited to start filming every Wednesday, like at least once a week. I really wanted to do that. And then I got really sick with a cold. I couldn't even talk, so I couldn't record and then, sadly, um, somebody broke into our home and they stole, like, a lot of um, very valuable stuff from me. Like, they stole all my jewelry, like, all of it. And I was so, so, like, even now remembering... <laughs> It makes me so mad. I just can't believe somebody can just go into people's houses and just take your stuff. Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they stole all of my jewelry. Jewelry that I had been collecting for years that I've had for like a long time ago. Um, jewelry that were special gifts. Like from my grandma, my brother, my mom. And... Uh, I've had jewelry that um, my mom gave me that she had had for many years and all of that just somebody just took it and I don't know it just and then my husband was in a car crash yeah like so many stuff was hap like happening one thing after another and I just couldn't concentrate in making videos or anything and I don't know, it was really sad because I was super excited to finally be able to post videos more often and stuff. And then all of this stuff happened. And yeah, so I'm so sorry, guys, that um, I, I keep saying, okay, guys, I'm going to be posting videos and then I don't. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, but hopefully I'll kind of, this video will help show you guys how the whole 2023 journaling um journey went for me which it wasn't very well but um yeah and what else what else do i want to tell you guys um so yeah um yeah okay let's just forget about all the bad stuff hopefully that would stay in 2023 and we can continue fresh with 2024 and 
I just trust that 2024 is going to be an amazing year. And yeah, I wish you all also to have a wonderful 2024 full of blessings and happy memories. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's begin. I'm sorry, it took me forever to do the intro. Okay, so um, first I want to show you guys, this is the journal that I want to use this month. Um, that I wanted to start the year with. Honestly, I haven't journaled anything. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. But I do have some pictures that I took on the 1st of January that I want to um, post in here. And kind of write about our, um, our little celebration we did. Okay, so anyways, like I said, it's only five short questions or prompts. I don't know what to call them. So the first one is all journals completed or not completed of 2023. Now, the reason I added not completed is because there's like several journals I did not fully complete. <laughs> um, and... I'm sorry, I feel like I'm making so much noise. I keep crashing into stuff. Into stuff. Um, so, I have one, two, three, four, five. Technically, I completed five journals and part of another, but I'll explain that later. So, this is the, the first one that I completed and let me show you guys really fast which is the one that I painted and I mean I did not complete it let me show you guys I have this amount of pages left that I did not finish which is a lot because I don't think I've yeah I don't, I've never left a journal with this amount of pages empty like it's it's half the journal honestly i think that's like a lot so yeah but I, I i just couldn't move forward with this journal so i had to switch to another one and then we have this one um which this one i used for when my family came to visit me from new mexico and this one is also not complete yet. Um, I have like a lot of pictures like inside of it, but I still need to go back and put them like in the right um, day and stuff. And yeah, I still need to complete this one, but I really want to because it's all pictures um, from my family's visit and stuff. So for sure, I want to do that. And as soon as I'm done doing that, I will show you guys a flip through of this, of this journal. And then these two are the next ones. I kind of worked on these journals both at the same time um, since they're really thin. And these ones are totally completed. And then we have this one, volume 11, which did I complete? Holy. Um, not really like I have this much amount of pages left which is crazy because before I would leave like five or so pages like on previous journals but not like I feel like I've been leaving a lot of journals like on complete and before it used to bother me, I had to kind of, I had to finish like a journal, at least leave only five or so pages, but not that much. But lately I'm like, I don't care. I just want to move on to a fresh start, but I don't want to like keep doing that because I don't like wasting paper and journals. So hopefully 2024 will be a better journaling year for me. 
because I was all over the place with my journaling this this past year um, because I also have never worked like in two journals at the same time but I was just so excited to work on both of these journals that that's kind of what I did um, so yeah I don't know it was a crazy journaling year and then this one which is the one I I was doing during December using um, this one I started it well I did it in 2022 and stopped at December 30 2022 but I had like more than half of pages in it so I really wanted to use the pages because I didn't want to leave it empty so I decided to come back to it so I started again in November 1st 2023 and I used it all November and December and guess what so I put a little tab when I started again like 2023 when it started and look how much I did literally it's like I don't know, it's probably like 10 pages. And then I still have all of that empty pages. But uh, I don't know, I just can't. I don't I don't know what's going on with me right now. I can't like concentrate to finish a journal. Um, which like I said, I don't think that I have left so many empty journals like this before. But yeah, so I did not finish it and I'm not going to continue with it because it's just going to mess everything up because I don't want to be in use one journal for literally three years, 2022, 2023, and then continue this year using it. I was like, no, I'm just going to whatever, forget about it, leave it like that and move on to another one. But yeah. Hopefully this year that's not going to happen, but I can't promise anything. Alrighty, let's move on to the next question, which is the good and the bad of 2023 journaling. Um, so I guess I just covered that. Well, the good, I don't know. I mean, the good, I guess, is that... At least I was able to journal and have some journals completed. Like, I think the worst case scenario for journaling for me would be to not journal. In, in, like, to lose a whole year without journaling at all. So, at least I, at least I completed some journals. And I have memories and stuff written you know um so i guess that was the good and the bad um like i just said is that i i was like in this journaling slump for like the whole year i wasn't journaling much and like i just show you guys i left a lot of journals with like incomplete with a lot of pages left so that's the bad um, okay, let's move on to the next question because I didn't want to make this video long. So three is top three favorite journals of 2023. So my top three, and the reason I'm choosing three is because it's my favorite number. <laughs> okay, so this would be my three favorite journals. Um this one i just like i said i love leather journals and then um of course this is this journal has memories from my family coming to visit us um and pictures of us and all the stuff we did so yeah this is a very very special journal and then this too i really really enjoyed um journaling in this um, journals it was really fun and I really enjoyed decorating it and yeah I had a lot of fun in these two journals so yeah and this one 
it, since it's not complete, like, um, <coughs> sorry, sorry, I see that cough, literally this cough has lasted so long, like it goes away for a week and then it somehow comes back. I don't know. And I'm now taking vitamins and everything, I guess, from all the stress and stuff, it's just, I can't get better. <laughs> um okay so yeah these are my top three favorite 2023 journals um so yeah and let's see the next prompt is three journals you are excited to use next year Alrighty, so we have this one which this is a handmade journal um that i bought at this local shop at where i used to live back in new mexico so i'm really really excited to use this little journal it's so cute and yeah and the next one is i'm sorry this chair makes a lot of noise um this is a paper blanks journal and last year I really wanted to use more paper blanks journal and then I ended up using none. <laughs> so hopefully this year will be an year in which I use more of my paper blanks journals because I do have a lot. Um, so yeah, hopefully... I'll use this one. I'm really excited about this one. I just love how the writing looks and everything. And then I'm also really excited to use um, this journal, which is handmade by my lovely friend Stacy. And this one I really wanted to use for my birthday month in September last year, but um, like I said, I wasn't journaling much and I just didn't got to it, but I really, really would like to, um, use this one for February. I think it would really be really cute for that month. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. It's so pretty. So yeah, these are the three journals, um really excited to use this year and hopefully i'll make a video showing you guys like what journals um i want to try and complete for this year i think i did a video like that from last uh last year and yeah i don't know i just think it's fun to kind of choose from all your collection what journals you are most excited to to use for the year even though last year i didn't really use many of the ones i picked i kind of chose a different one um okay so the next one is what are your like 2024 journaling plans so i was gonna put goals but lately well, last year I haven't been able to complete any of the goals. I don't think I completed any of the goals I said I wanted to do. So I kind of switched it into like what plans or things you would like to do um, with journaling. And honestly, seeing how 2023 went with my journaling, I just want to always carry my journal and pens and journal like just focus on journaling also i want to mention i think it also has to be with the fact that i currently don't have a printer and i am not able to print out stuff to decorate my journals and i know decorating your journal like journaling is not about decorating your pages or anything it's mostly it should be about writing but for me like decorating my pages like relaxes me and gets me in the mood to like write and stuff 
I don't know. I know it's not like totally important, but for me it kind of is. <laughs> um so yeah i think it also has to do with that not being able to like um print out stuff but hopefully soon i'll get one and i'll be able to get back into my normal journaling <laughs> um mood so yeah i think my journaling plan is to just journal like right because i just been in a journaling slump for a long time so yeah um other than that i don't think i don't have any big plans how i used to but yeah i'm excited to see what plans you guys have for journaling next year and to see what journals you guys completed um so yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful 2024 and i wish you guys the best bye bye love you all